So kind of disclaimer that this video might be long and kind of will be like all over the place. So if you want to skip this one, that's fine. It probably won't be like uh, very sharply edited as well. So today is my last day in this house, which I was like living for four and uh, four years and two months. And uh, as some of you might know that I already got uh, another place like a condo in Washington DC and I have uploaded a video about that. So that place I got it in last this May and uh, I have been like back and forth between this place and that place. But now today uh, uh, renters are coming in to check in into this place. So I won't have this place anymore from today. Uh, I mean like uh, I still own this place just renting it out but uh, the renters will be staying here so uh, I won't be able to come and record videos here and stuff like that so uh, so this house been good to me for four and uh, four years and uh, I just uh, wanted to record some of the good and bad memories like not really bad memories but uh, like bad experiences which is like helped me that kind of stuff uh, so this is mostly I'm doing it for myself because a lot of the things happen in this place were great and a uh, lot of great memories also like a lot of uh, learning experiences so and those are kind of like uh, unforgettable but uh, I just wanted to record it on the video so yeah so uh, back in 2018 uh, I was thinking about buying a house and I was single but I thought that I'm just gonna get a single family home which I might uh, can live in and maybe if it has a basement I might do Airbnb and that kind of stuff so just uh, mostly it was for investment purpose uh, but also like uh, uh, wanted to get something uh, which is like closer to DC uh, so this place is in Maryland, but it's like right outside DC. Uh, DC is about like five minutes drive from here, and uh, it is like walkable distance to metro. So you can take metro and get to DC pretty easily. So when I was like thinking about buying, I was like looking for something which is like uh, very convenient to get to DC, uh, but not like. Uh, very expensive and if I wanted to Airbnb and that kind of stuff uh, like I should be able to get the renters or guests uh, easily so I started looking and it took me a while to figure out like which area to buy in and what kind of house to buy in but finally I was able to find this house and I was able to buy it on May 30th which is my birthday so it was my 33rd birthday and uh, I wasn't like pl planning like that but it just timing wise worked out. So the closing was on my birthday and uh, I didn't move in on the same day. Uh, I was living in DC so uh, I closed it during the afternoon and I had a small party at the, uh, at the place I was living in at that time but then the lease was expiring on 31st of May so I had to like uh, move out on the second day so I checked out of that place on 31st and uh, uh, like at that time I was like kind of you can call it like living out of the bag so I was not buying mostly furniture or any that kind of stuff I only had a bed which I had like moved earlier but then uh, all the other stuff kind of looked like it's not much but then it took me a lot of time to pack everything uh, and move on that day on 31st May so when I came to this place it's like uh, uh, I came here around like midnight <laughs> it, uh, because I also worked on 31st so I had to move after my work and uh, came here on 31st May, it was pretty dark and it was like kind of raining a little bit too and I was like totally unfamiliar with this area right that uh, I know it's kind of safe but I didn't know so like this is like 
uh, in a new country and like a new state which like uh, this is in Maryland uh, in an area where I have never lived so it's like kind of like a fear of unknown right that uh, at the night at midnight I am moving all my stuff from my car to this house and it was kind of like raining a little bit so uh, yeah it was kind of crazy and even it's like uh, for the first few days when I at least for the first week uh, I was like all alone in this house sleeping and at night I was like I don't know like this this is kind of like uh, mostly Hispanic area uh, and uh, they are great people but uh, it's just like the fear of unknown is like uh, hey they, these people uh, what if they don't like someone like new moving in uh, what if it is like uh, uh, they're gonna try to do something crazy or something like that so uh, but then I started living here and all the people all my neighbor and all the people I met are great it's like uh, uh, just like I don't remember exactly the timeline but uh, I just the first week I moved in, the neighbor across uh, my house, he was like, hey, this uh, area, it's like a zone parking and you need guest park, a guest parking pass until you register your vehicle in Maryland. So he just gave me, came and gave me the parking pass, his parking pass. And uh, the Verizon guy came to install the internet, but then, no, not the Verizon guy. I think I bought some furniture and when they came uh, with a big truck to deliver that furniture, uh, that truck broke one of the internet cable. So one of my next door neighbor, they just he came, uh, he had a big ladder and he just came and fixed that cable right away. So that was like stuff like that, that uh, 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 they were all great. But in the beginning, I didn't know like, hey, uh, all these people who live in this area are like nice. Uh, and stuff like that so I was like first week I was like <laughs> uh, I don't know yeah I was like someone is gonna break into the house and stuff like that but fortunately none of those crazy things happen which is good uh, uh, so yeah I started living here in 2018 and then I was uh, I wanted to start doing Airbnb right away but it took me a while to figure out how to do that and set up and get the place ready uh, so let me just show you guys the place and yeah how my Airbnb place and the place I was living <laughs> So this is my front door. Okay, yeah, this is where you entered the house. This is all my stuff packed. Uh, uh, I still need to put those in my car, but yeah. And this is my kitchen. Some of the places I have been and all these souvenirs, each souvenir could be its own story. Uh, and maybe I make a, I'll make a video about each one <laughs> or maybe not, uh, depending on time. Uh, this is my kitchen. So one thing, uh, uh, before moving to this place, I don't remember I have like properly cooked anywhere. Uh, mostly I was like cooking breakfast but uh, in this place I started cooking and uh, uh, yeah this is I think kind of the first place I started uh, uh, cooking, learned cooking and uh, now I cook. Uh, when I got this house this door wasn't there uh, this is how you get to basement uh, but it was just open so what I wanted to do is that I wanted to separate the basement and the upper part so I can rent out the basement so the other door there is like uh, that's where you can enter so Airbnb guests will enter from there uh, and they cannot come inside this door only opens from this side and the other side you need a key 
so and uh, the majority of part is like picking up the door that what kind of door i want to install here and uh, who will install it and those kind of stuff took me two three months to figure it out in the beginning uh, so but finally it happened uh, so this is the basement which i was renting it out via airbnb and some stickers i put here and this place had a sink as a nice kitchenette fridge a microwave and this was kind of a living area and this is bedroom and i have washer and dryer here that's that was a shower so yeah this is the airbnb area so this is the entire basement i was renting it out via airbnb uh, uh which was fun yeah so when I started doing Airbnb, the figuring out part was tough and uh, even I didn't know that people are gonna come and live here, right? So, but when I started getting my first guest was kind of not very tough. Yeah, I think as soon as I listed, people started booking and uh, first guest uh, who came, they were great, three people. Uh, but the second guest I got was nightmare. Uh, they were like two people. Uh, two college kids, they booked it for a week and uh, that could be the entire story. Uh, that could be a whole another story which I might get into some other time. Uh, but the reason why this place, uh, this house is, means so much to me is because uh, that was kind of like a bad experience but then that bad experience taught me so much that what things to do and what things not to do to attract good guests and uh, uh, how to avoid this uh, guest which uh, are kind of problematic and stuff like that. So those are the kind of things uh, I learn in this house. So then I learned few things and uh, the Airbnb worked out really well in this house. Uh, so in 2019 I bought one more house uh, that is working well in the same area so it's in the same town like walkable distance from here uh, so that started working out well and then uh, I bought one recently which I uploaded the video so one in this May and uh, I have one more uh, under contract in the same building. So all these things like uh, happen uh, because of the Airbnb, I was doing it here. Uh, so it's all started in this house and uh, the things I learned here. So uh, that's why this house is kind of special. So let me show you the other rooms. This is a living room and dining area. So I had a table, dining table here where I recorded some of my videos if you have seen it. So I got rid of all the furniture because the renters who were coming, they didn't want it. So, and I had two couches here and a TV, all is gone. So when I bought it, uh, the thing I liked is that uh, there are like so many windows and so much like a, uh, living area space so this was kind of nice
This is another bathroom upstairs. This is one of the bedroom. So uh, mostly I was sleeping in this room because it's like the AC and heating is the best in this room. Nice and cozy. Uh, and I put the blackout uh, shades here. And this is another bedroom. Uh, so another reason why this place means so much is that my parents, they visited me in 2019 and uh, my dad was sleeping in this room who passed away last year. So I could always buy many more houses but there, there won't be another house in the United States where my dad will stay. So uh, this is why uh, one of the reasons this house is, means so much to me. Uh, this is kind of like a small closet. And there is another bedroom here, which is kind of like the biggest bedroom in the house. And yeah, I got rid of most of the stuff except my desk, uh, which is, I need to get rid of it today before they come. But yeah, this is where I have been editing all my videos so far. And uh, also working from here mostly, so. So yeah, that's all the rooms. So I do have a lot of uh, great memories in this house, but uh, there are some which, uh, some experiences were not a lot of fun when I was going through it. Like when I just moved in, uh, I didn't know how to mow lawns and what kind of lawn mowers to get. So the grass was, uh, right after I moved in in a month or so because I moved in summer grass was growing at a crazy rate and just after I moved uh, in after a month the grass was so tall because I was still trying to figure that out and uh, I got a notice that hey uh, the city from the city that hey you need to mow your lawns so then yeah the figuring out part wasn't fun uh, but then now uh, I know how to mow lawns and all the kind of things I learned in this house like whenever something like uh, because I grew up in India I and the houses in India are like very different than here so like uh, figuring out how everything works and uh, how to fix this uh, was fun yeah like uh, uh, the garbage disposal stopped working one time those that I figured out how to fix it on my own So how to fix small stuff on your own and how to get a contractor for big stuff uh, Those kind of things I learned in this house and uh, uh, I also wanted to build a driveway when I got here the, the driveway wasn't there so how to go and get the permit for driveway and uh, since uh, uh, both my neighbors had driveway right next to my property. They were, there were like so many crazy rules. So I had to go through like long process to get the driveway, get, like get variance and all that kind of stuff, uh, which were like going through those kind of stuff wasn't fun. But now I'm glad I went through those stuff because uh, uh, those experiences taught me so much. And uh, those are some of the reasons why this house means so much to me. And then you probably will be asking that if this house, you love this house so much, why you are moving out? Uh, so the reason I kind of like decided to get another place and move there is because this house is big for me and it's like maintaining this house is a lot of work. And I wanted to travel more and uh, focus less on maintaining this house. So yeah, I got that place in May and uh, I will be in that place uh, from today on. So hopefully I will be able to focus more on like editing videos. There are like lots of travel videos I have recorded which I still haven't got time to edit it. So I will be focusing on that. I was uh, talking to some of my friends who he hanged out in this house uh, often and uh, I was telling them that hey I'm moving out of this house this weekend it's making me emotional 
and they were like, yeah, we had so many great memories, but uh, uh, don't worry, we'll make uh, even better memories at uh, your new place, which is kind of true that, yeah, uh, even though I'm moving out of this place, I am excited for the future, I'm excited to have great memories uh, in the new house, but the reason I think that the time in the new house is going to be much better uh, in a way uh, is kind of the reason that what I learn in this house that uh, now uh, most of my Airbnb guests uh, I don't have any issue with those uh, guests because the stuff I learn in this house so uh, this house is where all it started and uh, I think I'm gonna keep this house uh, like not sell it as much as I can that I am going to try to keep it and maybe even I will come back and live this uh, live in this house again but yeah for now I am moving to this new place and hopefully my next video will be from the new house uh, so yeah I am looking forward to living in the new place and hopefully that house will be good to me as this house has been so yeah I will see you guys uh, in the next video from uh, the new house. Uh, until then, take care. Tera mera afsana.